Yo guys, how the heck are ya? Me? Well, I'm great. Just another fine day of being Jabril. But today, I have something exciting for you. Remember in my How to Get Started with Machine Learning episode where I mentioned to start with a simple color predictor as your first neural network? Well, all this week, I've been given the amazing opportunity to visit NYU's ITP and work on some projects. One project was a workshop where I demoed how to build your own neural network from scratch to ITP students. And I used that exact example for the workshop. So today, I want to quickly show off that project, share with you how it works, and get ever so slightly into code. So, let's get started. Here is my ITP demo. You are asked a simple question. Does black or white look better over this randomly generated color? You pick your answer some 100 times, and this predictor will learn if black or white looks better over random colors. Easy to grasp, right? Now, let's look under the hood and check out the design of our neural network. For this color predictor, we have a simple neural network. It has three inputs, three hidden layer nodes, and two outputs. And the inputs, it takes in the three RGB values of color and predicts if black or white looks best over that color. Nothing crazy or new, but very fun and interactive. And, okay, actually, time out. We need to go over a few disclaimers here. Disclaimer number one, I rushed to write this project in only a few hours. I only share this with you to get your sympathy for my lazy code. Please don't at me. Disclaimer number two, this simple color predictor neural network demo is actually trained using a genetic algorithm. The objective was to present a workshop for writing neural networks from scratch that was approachable even for new coders. And introducing calculus to new coders may not have been the brightest idea. So training it using a genetic algorithm worked great. Disclaimer number three. Unlike the Run Forest project, the genetic algorithm that I wrote for this demo is very lazy. Thus, the training results will likely not be optimal. But let's just run it and check out its performance. Yeah, again, it might take a while until we start to get accurate results, and that's just due to the nature of genetic algorithms. But if this demo interests you at all, I encourage you to download this code and improve on the genetic algorithm. But as I'm sure most of you machine learning enthusiasts know, this is far from the ideal way to train such a network. What we really want to use is a backpropagation algorithm because that will update the weights and biases in real time versus eventually breeding to find a correct enough predictor. And so let's add in a backpropagation algorithm to get this color predictor working proper. And to do this, we simply need to remove the genetic algorithm that we were using for training and put in its place backpropagation algorithm. Now, we could write this backpropagation algorithm from scratch, but a smart bot once said, why reinvent the wheel if you don't have to. So because this demo was written using JavaScript, we thankfully can use the toy neural network library that Daniel Schiffman wrote on his channel Coding Train and have his library take care of the algorithms for us. Very cool. Just give me one second to install this code. And boom, done. -d. Schiffman's toy neural network library is handling the forward and back propagation of our network. Now all that's left is to try and train a predictor and see if we can get good results. Commence the montage. And all right, let's see here. Yep, I agree there. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Nice! All right. Well, that's good enough for me. I mean, it is just a simple color predictor after all. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Now remember, the code for both color predictors, that's the one using the genetic algorithm and the one using backprop in the neural network, they're both open sourced on my GitHub with links in the description. And please do me a huge favor. If you haven't already, subscribe and click that alarm bell icon because that's gonna notify you whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter. That's where I post exclusive software builds and such. Now, if you wanna learn more about that JavaScript neural network library that I used in the color predictor for backpropagation, you can head on over to the coding train where there's a whole set of tutorials about building that library and how it works. And in fact, 
Coming soon, there's going to be a coding challenge on the coding train to build a color predictor with a neural network. All the links, all those videos, and everything will be in the description below. All right, I don't know. I'm feeling sort of weird today. I don't know if you noticed, things are just a little bit off, but whatever the case may be, remember to always feed your curiosity. Mm.